Alrighty guys, welcome back. Earlier we were discussing Joelle and Bead, and now we're going to be diving into our Friday special of dating horror stories. I'm going to put your business out there though, since you be putting my business <laughs> out there all the time. Tate's hungry, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Not only that, I've already had two meals already. <laughs> no, not one, but two. It's I'm thinking about were, that third meal. Probably because you ate at like one o'clock in the morning. That's why you're... <laughs> <laughs> I ate you had, about one thirty. You had first uh, breakfast and second <laughs> breakfast. You're like a hobbit. <laughs> and so now it's almost it's almost 1 p.m. here, which is mm -hmm. what, 6 a.m.? I mean, 7, 8 a.m.? Almost, almost 8 a.m.? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. I haven't even had time, my first meal. <laughs> so I'm going to knock out three meals before you even get to <laughs> yeah. your first meal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Yeah. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so. Friday special. We have our dating horror stories. Um, Warm those so... hands up a little bit in front of the fire <laughs> here. <laughs> so um, I found the ones that we're going to be talking about on a Reddit um, thread. Um, uh, so these are these are a little long, but I want you to stay with me because <laughs> it, just, it gets. It gets even better when you don't think it could are get you telling any me, better. I was just talking about warming the hands up. You're telling me these are a slow burn? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> slow burn. The slow burn ones are good, though. All right. Be patient. Okay. I, I got right. it. So let's see who submitted this. Uh, oh, their account's deleted, so never mind. Um, deleted <laughs> submitted this to Reddit. <laughs> Um, they said, I met some guy on Reddit. This story almost makes me yearn for the days my boundaries were non-existent because it means I got into some crazy stuff. He seemed a tad mm. quirky. He didn't own a cell phone, for instance. I asked him to meet, um, I asked him to meet at one of my favorite coffee shops. I find him there. He has a laptop, but it's like 20 years old. I'm shocked it connects to the Wi-Fi. He doesn't drink coffee. He's sitting there drinking milk from a plastic cup. I ask him to go out. I ask him to go outside. I can tell he's not showered. I'm sitting down when it's not great. <laughs> Whoa! Oh! Uh, I tried to go, but we ended up walking past his truck, and he pulls out some flowers for me, but uh, not the not ones he's bought. Ones he's picked from the side of the street, like a five year old. He wants he's to hang out. Just, he's just he's being around. He's uh. <laughs> He's just, he's an enterprising man so far. <laughs> Captain Sniff a lot. Um, <laughs> he wants to hang out longer, so he pulls out this telescope and we go for a little walk. He has pockets full of Starburst candy and he keeps offering them to me. It's too cloudy to use the telescope and also still daytime. I try to hurry the walk up at this point. I found it odd that despite him not owning a cell phone, he had pretty much every possible electronic known to man in his back top, uh, his backpack, tablet, laptop, Kindle, gaming system, everything. So strange. We circle back to the truck. I try to say goodbye, but he really wants to hang out longer and his face is super sad. So I say, I need a ride to the pet fish store. Because I did. It was an errand for the afternoon. So I get into his truck, ankle deep in empty five hour energy shots. He drives me 15 <laughs> minutes to the local fish store where we look at fish and I purchase driftwood. I guess I'm somewhat hopeful. Maybe I could convince myself this wasn't a terrible waste of time. At this point, it's dark and he keeps trying to touch me, but also recall he was unshowered and it was gross. I thought he thought I was an amazing catch because I played Bioshock, which I don't know what that is. Um, also, we get hungry, so I recommend we eat somewhere quick because I want to get out ASAP, but still don't know how to pull this parachute. We stood by the slice kind of place. He bought, he makes me pay for my own $2 slice of pizza after ordering his own, which is a little awkward. He asks me if... <laughs> He asks me if I think they have milk. I say no. He asks them if they have milk. They don't. He pulls out of his cargo pants an enormous container of garlic salt and asks me if I want any. He offered to uh, he offered 
He offers to give me a ride home, but I lie and say I'm close and walk home two miles in the dark by myself to try and decompress uh, because holy hell, I shouldn't have, I should have left four hours ago. He gives, uh, he leaves me a voicemail from his parents' landline saying he had a great time. I messaged him on Reddit and said we won't be hanging out again. Nah, you gave mixed signals. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> if I'm over here, I come over, I, I show up at your house, I'm drinking on some milk. <laughs> I'm picturing those, <laughs> those like <laughs> elementary skill milks. Okay. <laughs> drinking I, on. Yeah. Who, smelling, smelling like blue funk. <laughs> who as an adult just drinks milk like it's nothing? Like, I like milk, don't get me wrong, but the only time you'll see me with a glass of milk is with Oreos or if I'm okay. like eating cereal, you know? <laughs> One of my best friends, they're a couple. Uh, they're, they're, they're like my brother, they're like brother and sister mm -hmm. to me. They literally go through, I think like three to four gallons of milk each a week. A week? A week. Three to four gallons of milk. They each get their own, They they get like, six to eight gallons a week because they're they're knocking off like almost a gallon a day they for all their meals they get those big giant you know glass jars they keep them in the freezer and they fill them up with milk and that's what they do for breakfast lunch and dinner they knock off that milk they love milk granted and i just just that was just one because they're the only people i know that drink milk like mm -hmm. this but my man here, he got it to go. It's, it's, it's a little different. That's in their privacy of their own home. They're, they, he's showing up. No, he does up. that out in public. <laughs> my man, he, he walks up there. He takes a whiff. Of, of the, take a swig off of that vitamin it's probably D. Probably the milk sweats from all the dairy he's having. My he takes gosh. a swig off that vitamin D and walks right up to her. You know what I mean? um, uh, we got a comment. Someone says, "I love y'all synergy. Y'all are so funny." Thank oh, you. What's what's the person's <laughs> name? Uh, C two uh, S C O. I don't know how to. C two S C O or whatever. Yeah. Nothing but love. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I but... bet you, I bet you, if a dude came up to C two or a woman, I don't don't make no judgment here, <laughs> and. He smell, he smells like uh, paprika and leftover garlic while <laughs> sipping on milk. That is not someone. Literally, really... <laughs> that combination, that combination of like having major bo while carrying a gigantic thing of garlic salt in your cargo pant shorts. I... Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't even. Who you go? Who you going? Who you going out with first? <laughs> the milk and garlic powder guy who smells like um you know buck nuggets <laughs> or, or the bacon and shotgun shotgun shells guy who are you going out oh. with <laughs> this is like this is like the worst sophie's choice <laughs> ever um i think you know, honestly, I think I would go for the bacon and shotgun shell guys because, you know, yes. he knows what's up. And if I need something, he's going to go down to Walmart <laughs> and get provider. me whatever I need. So <laughs> now, do you agree that this woman, because my man knows what's the time, what time it is. Listen, if you know you're smelling bad and everything else, and then you're like, she says he's trying to touch her and everything. And it seems like she's like, no, no, no. But she's like, I will take a ride over to the to the aquarium shop. He's like, I'm in it to win it now. He's, Listen, he's a contender. Tate, <laughs> as a woman going on dates, it's it's a difficult 
process going on dates as a woman and you know for some reason we feel guilty when we don't like the guy so we try to you know make it work because we don't want to hurt their feelings or anything like that so we'll continue with the first date until the first date is over and then we oh, won't no. go on another one and so i i feel her pain i've never had a date oh. <laughs> this bad but i have stayed on a first date when i didn't want to to be See, nice. last week you were talking about the dude that brought the woman to the restaurant but not to the restaurant the restaurant dumpster not yeah. this one <laughs> women <laughs> let, let let cousin Tate talk to y'all. <laughs> when in doubt, throw their butts out. <laughs> That's mm. letting y'all know. <laughs> you know, you agree to have coffee with my man. Mm -hmm. And he's drinking milk. He's not even <laughs> drinking coffee. <laughs> he shows up with his own milk. He's taking a swig <laughs> off of his drink. And you know, you know what? I'm sorry. It was really nice meeting you. I'm it's sorry. not it's not you it's me <laughs> listen also don't trust anyone who doesn't have a cell phone but has literally everything else except a cell phone like laptop kindle tablet gaming soft software whatever but he doesn't have a cell phone that all that stuff's psychotic. older stuff that's psychotic that's to me See, I think <laughs> I got a whole different story in my head. I think he swung by the Goodwill and they had a clearance and he had bought up a bunch of stuff because they were saying like the laptop didn't even seem like it had Wi-Fi or something <laughs> like that. His phone didn't have Wi-Fi. He didn't have a phone. He called her from his parents' landline and left her a voicemail. Weren't you the girl that's talking about how long you've lived with your parents? <laughs> I had my own cell phone, first of all. Second of all, second of all, ooh, I only lived ooh. with my parents for two years after I graduated high school. I'm just giving you a hard time. I Don't be throwing me shade, okay? There's people on this planet that live with their oh, parents no. until they die, so. Listen, <laughs> listen, I'm telling y'all, it is like, they've been looking at some of the studies and things. It is better to stay, you know, I was one of those, I left way early. Mm -hmm. You are off to a better start if you can hang <laughs> with the family a, long, a little bit longer. You get off to you. You have a better, better jump off point in life. So I, I, I'm not throwing shade at you. I'm just, I had milk. to throw that at you. But milk, milk does the can't anymore. <laughs> Captain Milk does the body good, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. <sighs> rule, first rule: shower before your date. Yes, shower every day. What, Listen, what is it with people not showering? <laughs> oh, there was a, we got to look this up. There was a study done and they were talking about there are certain people in a country, a very popular country, and they don't, they don't change their undergarments for weeks at a time. <gasps> weeks. Weeks? That's. Listen. That's absolutely vile. <laughs> Listen, you can either, no. listen, I got my, I'm, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like a NAS, I'm like a, I'm like a NASCAR pulling in. I'm, I'm, yeah, I, I, I want fresh underwear on at all times. <laughs> Yank those ones off, throw in another bed, let's That's go. That's so gross. Yeah, you, 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 you don't show up, do not show up for your date without a couple of things: a <laughs> fresh shower, shower and brushing your teeth. And that. if you don't, if you haven't done those two things, and put call deodorant her up and on, say, <laughs> put deodorant on, please. I'm begging you, put deodorant on. <laughs> listen, listen, I'm with you on the deodorant, but you need a shower. You mm. got to brush the teeth. Those yes. are the two before any date. Especially Everything else can be your, optional. Especially if all you're drinking is milk. Yes, please brush your teeth. No, fake, fake. He drinking milk and he got a big old garlic giant salt. thing of garlic salt. Yeah. <laughs> you know he's stinky. <laughs> all right. You want me to uh, read some of the comments on here? Yes, let me, let me hear this. Okay, someone said... Please accept this award on behalf of any and all of us who have struggled with boundaries at some point. You were a trooper. This is the funniest thing I have read in a long time. Absolute gold. 
You gotta say no. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta hit someone, him. You gotta hit him with that Heisman. Mm-mm. Someone said, "Never trust someone grown who drinks glasses of milk anywhere but their own home." It's one of right. the lower ranking red flags. <laughs> <laughs> Much love for you, my man. Mm -hmm. You know, like, you know, you drinking milk in the privacy of your own home in a cafeteria. But, you know, you show up, you show up at the at the local feed and fuel on your (laughs) date. You you asking for some vitamin D milk. Mm -mm. That is a low grade red flag right there. I bet you it's whole milk, too. It's not even like. (laughs) Two <laughs> percent or skim. He would definitely be the one to drink straight up whole milk by itself. Yes, I'm telling you. And then he probably got a couple of Nessie Quick packages in his jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, oh gosh. Jeez. Some Someone else said Someone else said, What is up with people not showering? Get it together. <laughs> You'd be surprised how many, and I'm t- listen, as a guy who who did some dating in his life, that works both ways. That knife swings. No, both I know ways. that. I know that. Oh, there is nothing worse than you're like, man, I got a date with Becky and Becky banging. <laughs> Becky shows up, everything on point, everything looking good, and it's. B.O. Becky. <laughs> <laughs> the B. Man. And it is like, and you look at her and she, you, you can tell she just squeezed into that dress, just barely made it. She didn't have enough. I figured she just didn't have enough room for her deodorant and that dress. The deodorant would have put it right over the top. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Oh so, gosh! Just saying. Go ahead. <laughs> um. So he leaves a voicemail from his parents' landline saying that he had a great time. I knew this was coming before the halfway point. I could read these stories all day. <laughs> okay. I want to know how does she know it was a landline? He didn't have a phone, so maybe he like said in the voicemail, "I hey, am calling you." <laughs> this is I mean, you can come, you can reach me at Mama's house. <laughs> I'm over. I'm over at Mama's. I've been staying there for the last six months. Here's her number. Her answer machine will pick up. You got to say you got to say a couple of words, and we'll hear you, and we'll pick up in the back. <laughs> God. Yeah. Okay. What else do we have here? Um. <laughs> That's really about it for this one. I was going to suggest we take a break and come back and do another one. All right. Sorry, we took a little long on this one, but that was just too good. (laughs) That's too good to pass up there. All right. (laughs) All right, guys. Well, we're going to take a break quick, and when we come back, we're going to keep talking about some dating horror stories. (laughs) (laughs) Brush your teeth. Take a shower. (laughs) I'm with you on that one. (laughs) 